Hi, this is Melissa from Mrs. Stoffer's Music Room, and we are going to look at how to change the perspective of an image that you might be trying to put into your digital classroom. So I'm going to pop into this slide right over here of things I've kind of put together to show you what I'm talking about. So I've got two images that I'm trying to put in this room, and the first over here is this lovely music rug but it looks super awkward because rugs don't stand up straight they lay flat on the floor and even though you kind of know that I'm trying to make it look like it's on the floor it doesn't really look like that so that's a little bizarre now the poster over here it, it's a little different because it should lay flat but you actually need to change how it looks in a different way and I'm going to show you how to fix both of these issues using a free online editing program for photos called LunaPic and you just type in LunaPic and it should pop up but it is a WW6 before you go in. So all you have to do is find your photos and hit upload and we're going to start with this lovely music rug. So I'm going to pop that in there and what you want to do is go to one of these drop down menus and you're looking for the one that says adjust over here and it's a pretty huge menu when you hover over it. And about halfway down you're looking for perspective. So what you want to do is take these little dots once you've clicked perspective and you can drag them around to kind of make it look like how it should if it was laying on the floor. Now, if you're really particular, you might want to double check kind of the angle of the room. I think I want to go out just a little more on these backs. So I'm going to pull them out just a little bit more so that it looks like it lines up with my floorboards. And then when you've got it how you want it, which this is still not even, so let's fix this, let's fix this a little bit hit apply and then you are going to save your photo which you could drag or drop or I'm just going to hit save over here and it'll download. Go back over to your Google Slides and I'm just going to pop this in and now you can see the difference. So this isn't perfect and I'm okay with that for now. If I was doing this where I'm really putting it in my room, I might go back and pull those corners out just a little bit so that it lines up better with my floor and looks correct. But you can see how much better that looks than this one over here on the left. So now I'm going to get rid of that. And when I present it, you can see the difference. This is so much better even though it's not perfect, it's definitely acceptable. So let's get out of here. When you're trying to do po posters for the wall, let's start with a new upload. Choose file, and grab my little percussion poster, and let that upload. Now this one's a little bit bigger and that's okay. It's actually a little easier to see. Uh, sometimes they upload and they're huge and you have to scroll to, to see all of the dots. And um, it's a little difficult, but just be patient with it because it'll be worth it. So back to adjust and perspective. And for, see here, it got a little bigger on us. So for when you're doing it on the wall, you're going to use the two side, um, side dots. So... And you might need to adjust a little bit. So you're going to bring them up and in. Bring this in a little more because this is going to be hanging on that wall. Maybe a little bit. Let's just leave that. We'll see how this does. Hit apply one more time and save it. And now I'm going to pop this into my slides and I definitely need to make this smaller because that's a huge poster and you can now see the difference. Right 
that looks so much better and so much more realistic. And those did not take long to do. So this is something I definitely recommend you do if you want to make your classroom look as real as possible. And that's a short, quick, and inexpensive way to do it really quickly. So I hope this tool, this Lunapic tool helped you out and have a great day.